Hi, I'm Dave Dunbar with General Pipe Cleaners, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about the Kinetic Water Ram and how to install the Ram Repair Kit. So the Ram works by air pressure. Anything that keeps the air from building up and under pressure can keep it from functioning normally. So we're going to talk about the Ram Repair Kit and how these pieces in here can return this to like, like new condition and preserve the uh, longevity of your unit so it can continue to be useful and make money for you. So, let's talk about what's in the RAM repair kit first. So these are the contents of the Kinetic RAM repair kit. All the items you need in order to refurbish your RAM. In addition, it has instructions on how to use each piece, how to install it, how to get it to where it has to be, how to put it all back together again. So the tools we're going to need today are First, a 3-32nd Allen wrench, a pair of pliers, some channel locks, make sure you have something that spreads fairly wide, a pair of vice grips, and a flathead screwdriver. That's all you'll need. Now, one thing we could do before we start taking the ram apart and putting in new parts is we can try oiling the leather cup. Leather cup is instrumental in, in providing air pressure for the ram, and if it dries out, it won't do its job. So little hole right here in the handle assembly. Pull this up like this, take the red, red uh, cap off here, and just start putting some Neats foot oil as you turn the handle. So what you're doing is evenly distributing the Neats foot oil on the leather cup, which is really good at, at keeping it nice and, and pliable and in a youthful condition. Okay, so it works. Now, if that works, great, then you solved your problem. If not, well then let's start to take pieces apart from the RAM and install the RAM repair kit. So first let's, let's take the cone off. So we'll put this down, I'll put on my glasses. And let's take off the E-ring that's holding on the trigger assembly. There you go. Now you have another one in the RAM repair kit, but it's best to keep the one that you have. We'll take the pin out. And at the top of the handle, there's a little set screw, 332nd Allen's wrench, loosens that screw so that you can turn the handle. That allows you to take the trigger assembly off. And now let's take off the gauge. Then let's loosen up the handle assembly and then screw it, and the inner pump assembly will come out. So let's put this over here. And let's look at the inner pump assembly. Here you have a leather cup. And this leather cup is used to push air down the pressure chamber. If it gets dry, if something happens to it, then it won't push air. And you can't actually build up pressure in the pump. So if it looks like it's dried out or damaged in any way, it should be replaced. There's a new leather cup inside the RAM repair kit. In order to get at it, you have to remove this nut. And since it's hard to hold on to this shaft, I use the vice grips. Just a pair of pliers. the nut. And here's all the pieces. And all these pieces are included in the RAM repair kit. So if there's anything wrong with them, you can replace them. 
Again, this is probably the most important piece in the kinetic water ram. If this has failed, if this is not working properly, you can't build pressure. So we'll put it back together again since this one's fine. Leather cup that's inside the kit. And assemble it like this. So right now we'll put the inner pump assembly aside and we'll take out the air pump cylinder, which is this big piece right here. Now at the end of the air cylinder, you have a check valve. It's a valve seat washer. Let's air go out, doesn't let air go back in. So to change that, it just pulls out. You can see the shape. And to put the other one back in, it just pops in. Okay. By taking care of this and the leather cup, you've handled most of the issues you can come up with your ram. But there's more. So, let's take off the shank at the bottom of the air cylinder. I'm going to keep an eye on it and keep pressure on it because it's sort of spring-loaded. It'll have a tendency to sort of get away from you. Now when you're taking that off, make sure you're holding it because it can pop the way this one just did. Okay? And you don't want to lose any parts. So now you have an O-ring here. That's very important. And you have a gasket right there. Both are very important for the functioning of the trigger to make sure it's very efficient. So change these while you're in here. So after you've replaced everything that you're going to replace, we recommend reassembling in reverse order. In the same way that we took it apart. So first, Push this back in and start it by hand. So next we the pressure cylinder back in. Easier to do it this way. Now to get this started, sort of turn it sideways and use your fingers sort of help it get over the lip and just push it right down, just like that. Get the trigger assembly on. You want to keep the handle a little bit out of the way and on this, you want to line this up. with the center of the unit. And put this on first. Move it out of the way. Get the pin. And the E-ring. And you can just use flathead screwdriver. Tighten up the screw using again your 332nd Allen wrench. Put the gauge back on. Put the cone back on. So there you go. Back together again, better than new. Ready for action. So if you have any other questions, anything else comes up, feel free to call us at 800-245-6200. Ask for customer service, the Drain Brains. They'll be able to answer any questions that you might have. Or go on our website, drainbrain.com. A lot of good information there. 
Thanks a lot for using General Equipment. We really appreciate it and have a great day. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.